Hi, good evening. My name is Natalie Whittle, and I'm your host for tonight at Indie Nights LA. Indie Nights is celebrating the release of three independent artists, Alfred Jackson, Shalia Nicole, and introducing Jalen Edmonds. Indie Nights is also bringing awareness to a rare disease, Chiari Malformation, where a portion of the proceeds will benefit Antoinette Paul, who is currently fighting this rare disease. Antoinette is an alumni of Amazing Grace Conservatory. All right, guys, so it's right before the show, and I'm here with the beautiful uh, hair twin, uh, Shalia Nicole. <laughs> yes, thank you for joining Thanks us. For me. Oh, my goodness. So how long have you been singing, Shalia? Um, I started when I was nine. My mm -hmm. mom put me in Amazing Grace Conservatory, and that's where I started learning about singing and acting and dancing and just all performing arts. Everything performing arts, I started when I was nine. Oh, wow. Like, learning all about it. But I've been singing, like, you know, around the house. Now, what brings you here tonight? Uh, to support my longtime friends, Alfred Jackson and Shay Jackson and Shalia Stubblefield. I just recently got married, like, three months ago, so they came to my wedding and stuff. Like Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, She's lovely. I saw her. Big. And also to support my mother, you know what I mean? And, and entertainment industry pro training program is something that I also came up in. I was actually in one of the first... Uh, graduating classes of it. Hey, Natalie Whittle here with Mr. Alfred Jackson right before the show. So we're gonna have a couple things we're gonna talk about right before he get into his wardrobe and looking fly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Alfred, how long have you been singing? Man, I've been singing my whole life. I started at the age of nine. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom put me in a performing arts program with Marla Gibbs. And from there, I went to Amazing Grace Conservatory by Wendy Raquel Robinson. Mm -hmm. And then um, I went to performing arts high school, Los Angeles County High School of the Arts. So I, it's just from the age of nine, we just kept going. Mm, that story sounds real familiar. By a young lady I just spoke with not too long ago, Shalia Nicole. Hmm, you kind of favor her. You know, that's my sister. That's my baby sister. Okay. She's going to kill tonight. Oh, both of you guys. Voice of like, the angels, you hear me? Just wait, you just wait. And then the energy, because we talked to your dancers uh, a few you know, minutes ago, and they were telling me, they worked hard. But uh, all the dancing that you know they've actually gonna be doing tonight, I said it's like you and a dancing. Uh huh, cause it's a whole mix of everything. <laughs> you wanna run down with what type of styles we're doing tonight? A little bit of African, you know, island. Yeah, got the strict hip hop, we've got the just the ups and downs. I mean, I've studied hip hop, I've studied modern. I took a little bit of ballet because it was part of the, the program, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but all that paid off, you know, because um, you got to use your core with all this hip hop choreo. So, 20 years ago, God gave me and my best friend Tracy, Laco uh, Tracy Lamar Coley inspiration to start a little school called Amazing Grace Conservatory. And here we are in our 20th anniversary season, and Shalia Nicole and Alfred Jackson, and even they all came through the process and came through the school. So I've known them for 20 years, and I feel like I'm here to celebrate a legacy, and I'm here to celebrate everything that they have done. So however I can be a liaison and just continue to grow. Before you go on stage, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm nervous. But how are you feeling now? I feel great. I feel good about the performance. I mean, everybody said that I did good, so. Miss Noreen McClendon, I just spoke with her son, Flavon, amazing. So, please, tell us a little bit about the whole Indie Nights LA. How did that even start? So, it actually started because uh, Sheila Dorn um, and I have been partners for many, many years. Our kids started performing together as little kids, and we started producing um, things, introducing young people to the jobs behind the scenes. And so we teach them ways to get into the industry without having to go, to go the mainstream. And so she has two amazing uh, young people who are great performers. Um, and so we wanted to do a show. They wanted to thank their fans. They just had really, their, their hearts were in it. They had great natural talent. They had a great teacher. So, you know, it couldn't fail. They have a great foundation, too. Yeah. And I just, you know, encourage any, any kids, any artists, any parents to keep your kids busy. You know, find out what their interests are and put them in that, you know, just try to push them in that area that they're interested in. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be a part of such a wonderful organization to just help young people to, because they need guidance nowadays. We need mentorships for them so that, to help guide them along the way to be the best that they can be. So how do you feel after the show? 
great. I'm Amazing. tired, but great. It yeah. was, uh, it was all time. worth we it. We had a great time. Yeah. yeah? Yes. Proud of her. Proud of you. Oh, man. So definitely it was all worth it. All the rehearsals, Absolutely. blood, sweat, and tears, as they would say. Absolutely. It was right? worth every bit of it. And I tell you what, y'all are performing. I felt all of that. I felt all of the dancing and the moving and the sliding. This brother here was sliding. You hear me? They don't do that every day. They, they too pretty nowadays, but I love it. <laughs> that was great. Well, thank you guys so much for this wonderful show.